two up. New Zealand series number three. We're up, we're packed, we're on the road. It's not even nine o'clock. Well, it's five past nine, oh. that's all right. But we have coffee. The coffee's large. Uh, public holiday here, so options were limited in Twizel, but we found the Master's Hut coffee. Little bit of a surcharge for the public holiday. But it's coffee, we'll take it. Bikes loaded, ready to go. We're doing a bit of backtracking today. Yeah, a little bit. Got to go back down because we, we kind of shot past a couple of spots yesterday to come up to Mount Cook. So we'll do a loop. Go back down, follow the canals, back down to Lake Ohau. Yep. And then go up the left hand side or the long side, I suppose, of Lake Ohau. Okay. In and out. Yep. And back out here to Twizel and up to Tekapo for the night. Mm. And you've got a couple of side loops out the side of the lake at Tekapo to take in as well? Yep, and we might go down the canals to the top of Benmore as well. Oh, okay. See how we go. Cool. Watch this space. Just stopped here at Lake Cameron. Loch Cameron. Get the words right. And there's the little duckies. Stunning morning, second coffee done, just sorting out a few bits, and then we're going to set off on our day. Oh wow, good morning. Here we are at Loch Cameron. Loch Cameron, so just on the, just on the outside edge of one of the canals here, just outside of Twizel. Yeah, the uh, canal is literally up over the little hill there. And uh, we're heading south for a bit. We're going to follow the canal down and round into the bottom of Lake Ohau. And then we're going to scoot right up the side of Lake Ohau, up as far as we can go. Um, that'll see most of our morning. What's time? 10 past 10. Yeah, we stopped so, for an extra coffee. Yeah, that'll probably see us till lunchtime somewhere up in there. And then turn around and come back. And... Uh, make our way over to Tekapo for tonight. So uh, we'll um, get a move on, see what we can find, eh? Sure. Yeah, I think we go across the canal here. There's a bridge. Yep. One lane, of course. No wind on her today, not like yesterday. No. Buddy, yeah. So you can do either side? Yeah, I think so. Oh, perfect riding weather. Yeah. Again. I did dream it was raining in the night. <laughs> no, no rain. Fishing right on the edge of the salmon farm, trying to <laughs> snag a big salmon. The one that got away from the farm? Yeah. I'm sure there's more than one gets away. I think this, this is the Ohel um, control gate, so Lake Ohel's on the other side. opened out in front of you.
good setup, isn't it? Yeah, get morning tea put on for you. Not bad. Oh, they got Didymo in this canal in the lake. Oh, stunning. So we did. Act, we do actually have the option to go up this side of the lake. But then we could go either. But they're we'll both in, they're both in and out. So we'll go the other one because that gets us up to the lodge. Yeah. Yeah. So the the three lakes here doing a little bit of reading this morning because we weren't really sure. So this Ohau, Pukaki and Tekapo are all glacial lakes. So that's why the colour of them and they are actually naturally formed. Some fancy geological term. Anyone that's into that sort of stuff, go look it up. It's um pretty cool. And then we've engineered some canals and turned it into power. Oh yeah, the wind's whistling down at Ohau alright. Oh yeah. Well, there's a bit of a look out there obviously. Oh, cool. Look at what we're going over. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Is this stop in the middle for a photo? Yeah. I was gonna say this is the A2O and there's a boat launch there as well. Oh how cool. Yeah. Oh so that's the river that we saw from up on top of the canal. Yeah. Imagine coming across here, and like they say, the river could rise rapidly. Imagine it when there's water spilling over. Yeah. All right, you good? Yep. Oh. Which way do you want picture? Uh, take whatever. Are you getting a run up? No, I'm just going to go back so you get a bit, bit more. Oh, it's windy up here. Ah. See, now I miss out on the ride. She's so needy, I tell you. <laughs> You have no idea. That is super cool. was actually okay. I was a little bit worried when I saw some of those, like, it was a bit rocky. But yeah, no big ruts, that helps. Yeah. You can see why doing it the other way might not be so bad. Apart from that one you come down. Yeah, which would that, would be be just, that would be just tricky enough. Coming back up. Yeah. Down was pretty good. 
happy days. Getting a bit rugged now. <laughs> Bit, are we? Yeah. Hunting for good lines. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not looking. What is it I say? I go where you take me. Yeah. A bit of a climb up here. Okay. Oh wow. The view over to the dam there. See the sluice pipe straight out in front of us. Oh yeah. <sighs> Sigh for dramatic effect. Better than over there. Maybe. Somebody out there fishing. Stunning view of the lake. over in the background. This is Lake Ruatanifa. Uh, over there you can see way in the distance is the Ohau Bridge which takes you across back into Twizel. So we've pretty much done a big loop today. 
left Twizel and went out around the canals uh, all the way down to the Ohau Weir and then we've come back up the other side. Uh, someone didn't do a lot of research on the track. I had to get off and walk once, that's not too bad. Now we'll carry on, headed back down towards Lake Ohau. That is pretty nice looking, isn't it? Yeah. Should be even nicer when the lake pops into view. Yeah, we're about to get a view of the lake. You can see the road up the up the side of the hill mountain there. That's the, the, the road up to the ski field. Okay. Oh, look at that. Lake Ohau. It's dying. Pretty that was a big that was a big slip on the other side there, eh? Yeah, there's a car going around the other side there. So that's where we would have rid, ridden. Yeah, we could have we could have gone that side. There's actually a little campsite here. Oh, maybe we can get down to there, can we? Or just there? Yeah, How's that'll that? do, eh? You get the sign and the bike and... Oh, did I... Did I, I, I touch? Got... Oh, yeah, yeah. I've still got Yeah, it's all right. Oh, it's a little fresher up in here, all right? It sure is. Oh, look at the view up the mountain. Yeah. Beautiful clear day up there. Lake Middleton. Jeez. Another uh, adventure token will tick off the list. And just if you stay there, let's see if we can do this. Somewhere there. <laughs> I'm trying to get that mountain. Yeah. What a stunning entryway. Isn't it? Kind of makes you feel like you're going skiing. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Uh, disc golf. <laughs> <laughs> Spot, eh? Yeah. And again, you can camp here. Yes. Wow. Pretty cool. Oh, she windy. It's windy here. Lake Ohau Lodge. Turns out we can get a coffee here, but this is the lodge. It has unchanged since the 50s and it's got this most amazing, amazing front bar. Outlook across the lake and then when you come in here it is just like an old school ski lodge. was a nice little uh, nice little detour stop called into the uh, Ohau Lodge. Bonus coffee. A cup of coffee. <clears throat> Sat in the lodge there for a bit and looked out at the uh, the stunning view that is here. So uh, now we're just gonna head to probably head to the top of the lake. I don't think it's all that far, maybe 20k, something like that.
little bit of splash on the boots. Yeah, she's a dusty old valley today. Oh yeah. Very dusty, isn't it? It's occasionally very windy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna push us back down the lake, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, <laughs> I was just being all cocky and saying, <laughs> gate count zero. God yeah. damn it! And they drive off. How rude! No sass, first, oh, bumblebee, first gate. <coughs> it's an easy one. I actually think it's up there where they're going. What's that? Oh, the, is what's where, that? Is where the moto token is. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. Steeple Peak Lookout. Oh, cool. So we'll just go up there. That'll go up, do us. Go up there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good? Yep. opens out into another stunning little piece of the countryside. Done that. Breezy. Just a bit. Temple Picnic Shelter or Temple Peak. Yep. Temple Valley me knowing the place names. A little picnic shelter, 1968 was built and it even has a little fire which obviously gets a bit of use. Not a bad little spot. North and South Temple Valleys. adventure token here which I'm going to say is that peak up there steeple peak up there just so you can see I'm crawled down here in the bushes and hopefully you'll be able to hear the river but there's just this amazing gorge Look back up the valley there. Stunning. I think it's running too fast for there to be any trout. Paparazzi moment. Beautiful little stream. <sighs> oh, well. 
Wow. So come back out from what was that campsite called? Temple. Temple Valley. Temple Valley. Nice and little spot up in there. In winter 1879, prior to the eviction from their settlement at Te Ao Marama, Captain Maiharoa ascended the sacred mountain beside Lake Hauhauiti on a vision quest. His disciples waited below. And this is a monument for the teachings of peace. Watching out across Lake Ohauiti to the sacred mountain. It's stunning. See the dust. coming back out to the main road from being up Lake Ohau. Another one ticked off the list. Yep. Uh, I think, think we got blown back down the lake rather yeah. than drove. Yeah. Uh, and the temperature has lifted like two degrees as we've come up off out of the lake. But oh, stunning. choice was to go out that one. I think we'll we can carry go on. Bit, yeah, I think we'll carry on a bit further. I think it does go to gravel. Ah, so that takes you up to the Tekapo Canal. Yes. Right. Yeah, no, we'll carry on to the next one, hey? Yep. Oh, we're going to go under there. Single lane. Under the sluice. Bigger than the one at Monowai. Yeah. Well, it's a double. How stunning is that? Absolutely magnificent. A pretty little headwater. Yeah, and there is actually a, I thought there was an adventure token up in here. Oh, okay. How's the colour of the water though? Oh. That's a cool view back down the lake.
left-hand side the whole way. So it just popped out over the hill here. That's the defence area all out over there still. And uh, we're going to make our way back over the highway. And then drop down into Tekapo. That's a nice stretch of road through there. Which is um, barren, barren country. You can see why the defence use it. Probably not much good for anything else. We've lost our... Uh, lost our comm so it's a one-way conversation here now there we go Lake Tekapo This one? Yep. Lake Tekapo Motels and Holiday Park. I think that's Lake's Edge, one kilometre. Oh, yeah. yeah, so back. Been a bit slack with the camp walk arounds each night, but. Night three, and <laughs> we're camping again. <laughs> just as well we brought the tent, hey? Yeah. I just had a really cool ride round from Pukaki up the side of the lake and across through a bit of defence force ground, actually. Uh, it was all fenced off, but got to the campsite. I don't know if you can see, there's a rabbit just like wandering around, made himself at home here. And this is the view looking out across Lake Tekapo. We'll finish setting up and freshen up and I guess go look for some beverages once my jobs are done. I'm very good at doing a walk around but this is the caravan park. So we've got, there's a kitchen, uh, full laundry facilities etc. Um, as you can see, loads of campers, uh, tent sites, lodge, a bit of all sorts, very cool facilities down over there, um, barbecues, and up over here we have the TV and dining room which we are making the most of for a little bit of recharge, and our campsite is further up that road well this is a view and a half camped up here at Lake Tekapo and this is at the caravan park looking out over the lake uh, but enough of the view a little bit of map time so we uh, actually backtracked a little bit today we came from Twizel we actually followed the canal we came all the way out to the side of Lake Ohau and then we looped back around the side of the lake here and then we came back down here and we actually cut right back up through Lake Ohau. Uh, we stopped at the lodge here, coffee, well worth a stop. And then we carried on up and we actually went right up past the head of the lake and somewhere in here we did a little detour into Temple Valley. Then it was back and pretty much up the highway little bit of a stop here at the bottom of the lake stunning views of Mount Cook again today uh, and then we carried on up the side of Lake Pukaki uh, and rather than again off the map we carried on up here until pretty much level here with Lake Tekapo and then we angled across through here and came out here uh, pretty cool views of Mount Cook for a fair chunk of that ride it was absolutely beautiful <laughs> 